another video but before i get started on all the details please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn on notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos today i'm going to be showcasing a new unit from the company curly me of course i'm going to make sure to leave all the details down below in the description area but i will be showcasing this glueless kinky curly wig this one is in the length 18 inches and it also has a nine by six HD parting space area. So this is the nine by six parting space. So this has the max lace. This one also comes with mini knots and it already comes pre-bleached, pre-cut and also pre-plucked, which I'll show you guys in a minute. You also get these removable combs right here on each side. And then you get the removable comb in the back, which I forgot to remove the tag right there, but you get the removable comb back here for my ladies who are not a fan of combs. Also comes with this removable adjustable elastic band. They also include this kit that does have your extra accessories in it in case you end up losing something. So it comes with three removable clips and also an extra adjustable elastic band. I went ahead and put this removable elastic band on. Um, I also did tighten the straps. I am gonna keep my combs on because I'm not sure how the fit is going to be. And you guys know that I have a small head, so let's try it out. not mad at the fit on this I feel like it could be just like a little bit more snug there is some extra room right here but I can always go in with some bobby pins just to kind of keep it down but up here in this area everything is fitted nice and let's go ahead and get into this hairline and as you can see this lace is thin because look when I put my cap back like this you can see my cap so you can always go in with a thinner cap i'm just gonna pull that up a little bit i think that i can cut off some more of this lace i'm not a fan of the extra lace left over but that is a small thing and that's a personal preference if you are okay with you can definitely keep it on it is a little bit light right here but i'm also feeling like once i add product is going to blend in so i don't want to go in with my tint because you guys know i'll throw some tint on some lace real quick just to make sure it's blended in well to my skin i do like how this lace is coming all the way over so it is giving you frontal vibes come part it as a middle part of course you can move your parting space to the side if you choose to i'll show you guys what it looks like on the side go all the way over i think i can go over a little bit further so yeah, that's as far as you can go before you end up running into any track. The hair feels really nice and soft, so I don't think it's going to be any issue with me styling it. It should be fairly easy. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then I'll probably play around with some different looks, just kind of see what we can see. The rest see. of this video is going to be a voiceover because it's spring break and my baby is out of school. So of course she definitely had to come show me all her arts and crafts and slime, you know, what kids do. So I felt like, you know what, let me just focus on styling this hair for you guys and I can just tell you what I'm doing. So right here, I'm just cutting off the rest of that excess lace because for me personally, I felt like it was a little bit too much left on. And then I am going to part this hair on the side because I do plan on doing two space buns. So I want to get that up out of the way. Get the hair out of the way. Now I'm going to go in with this olive oil mousse at the very front of the hairline because I'm hoping that once everything dries down, it'll blend in more to my skin because at that moment I feel like it was a bit too light. Then I'm going to go in with this band and I'm going to tie that around the front of the hairline while I work on styling the rest of this hair. Sectioning this off and then I'm going to go in with my spray bottle and I'm just going to wet the hair up. That's just going to help loosen the curls that are already there because I am styling this straight out of the box. I do want to go through with my wide tooth comb just to make sure there's no tangling going on before I add my products and also just get rid of any shedding that may happen to me is more on the silkier side so once i sprayed a little bit of water through my comb just kind of glided through it i really didn't see much snags going on and there also wasn't a lot of shedding now the ends were a little bit thicker and drier so i just made sure to put some extra water and i'm also going to go in with my garnier fructis air dry cream and i'm using that because it is a little bit thicker and it's definitely going to make these curls pop
The curls are already looking good and they aren't even fully dry. So I already knew that they were gonna look really nice once it does dry down. So now I'm gonna focus on the top of the hair. I'm just making sure my parting space is lined up. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that olive oil mousse. And then I am just going to place a rubber band around this area. Now, when it comes to the rest of the hair, I'm not gonna put any of the curl cream in it yet. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of water and it still made the hair pop. And then I'm going to twist that around and then I'm gonna place some bobby pins. While I'm diffusing this hair, I did take a look at the lace. I wanted to make sure that the lace was going to be on point before I took that elastic band off. And as I kind of slid it down, I seen that the lace was still too light. So yes, I did have to go in with my tint spray, spraying it on top of the lace. And I was really careful with it because I had already did my makeup and I didn't want it running down my face and staining my face, but it came out so good because look how well that lace is blended into my skin. And right here, I'm going in with a little bit of my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. And this is just going to help protect against any frizziness and flyaways. I wasn't too heavy with this product because the hair already does have a nice sheen to it. is the final look these curls are definitely very pretty the hair altogether is really pretty i am loving the length on this hair because i don't feel like it's too long it's not doing too much and it has a good density now this unit does start at eight inches it goes up to 32 inches as that lace being a little bit too light in the front the hairline is on point. They did that when it came to plucking out this hairline. And then also with bleaching the knots, they did so good that I didn't have to go in and use any powder because it's nice and open and it just looks so realistic. I'm gonna say goodbye to the space buns because your girl is going to give you another look. Even though they were really nice and cute, I do wanna show you guys other options that you can do with this hair and how easy it is to restyle. So I'm just going to wet that little area up that was in those ponytails, making sure to smooth everything down at the top. I'm not gonna put any mousse at the top of this unit to lay it down. However, I am gonna go in with that curl cream and just focus on those little pieces since I didn't add any product to those pieces beforehand and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I did re-add mousse to the very front part because this was parted as the middle part. I didn't want that little line to show. So I just kind of removed everything over and then I'm gonna go in and diffuse everything down. This hair is still going to require some maintenance because it is a curly unit. However, I don't feel like it's going to be super high maintenance like other curly units that I have styled before. I love the look of this. I like how everything is ready to go. You don't have to do much. And I also feel like the install was super easy for beginners. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you feeling this one? Do you like the side part or are you feeling the space buns or do you like both? If you are interested in this, I am gonna make sure to leave the links down below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.